kung sinabing sa akin hindi kita papayagan si Pihor sa susunod bago ka umuod sa kanila magtanong ka muna hindi mo ba alam ginawa din pelikula yan well then I guess it's time to make a movie or maybe just you know blog about it so let me tell you how I spent my three days and two nights in the beautiful islands of We did a lot of things. We got to go around the island and explore what it had to offer. And we got to eat a bunch of ridiculously good food. But we didn't do it alone. We went with an unlikely group of friends, both old and new. And we experienced the island together. Of course, there were going to be ups and downs. And I can't really tell you everything that happened. But what I can say is, memories were made. Laughter was shared, and some tears too. But enough of me telling you how my trip went. Let me just show you, instead. So for day one, we rented out a small minivan that was super cute, and then we loaded everything up in the back before heading to the resort. Now even with five people together, we still managed to get lost, but we made it to our destination in the end. Our resort was beautiful, but everyone had to leave their bags out first since our rooms weren't quite ready yet. And for reference, this is how much baggage a group of eight can bring. Number 24. What's the care? No. 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 Hi guys, it's already day one of our Sikihor trip. And it's lunchtime, so we're just waiting for our lunch to arrive. Pero ang tagal kasi, so naglibot-libot na lang kami. Iba nagpicture-picture, pero ako, I wanted to do a little talking vlog para you get where we're at right now. So ngayon, nag na kami and everything. Nag-unpack pala, unpack. Today, we're just gonna cafe hop from different stores and see and explore the town lang. And then, yeah, tomorrow it's gonna be a dive day. And then the day after that, waterfalls naman. That's our last day, so. I'm gonna go back there na and sana may food na kasi gutom na kare. So for lunch, to be honest, we waited quite a while for our food and I wouldn't say it's enough for 8 packs. I mean presentation-wise, 10 out of 10. Flavor-wise, it's a 7. I don't know if it's worth it, but I guess you're paying for everything else the resort has to offer. So, okay na rin naman, I guess. <laughs> We didn't have anything planned the rest of the day, so we thought of visiting this coffee shop that was close by. Hi, the shopping now. The shopping now. The shopping now. Yes, but. Hello! It's around 5.30 na and everyone's doing their own thing. Iba nag-work kasi hindi pa nakapag-vive so they're working. And then iba nagpapasyag pa sa around the island and then iba nagpapa-aircon sa room kasi ang init! I think after nito, either mag-gym kami and then dinner or I don't know more. You see? We'll see. Pero I'm just enjoying my vacation! Look at that! 
try not to get too senti, pero I feel like the definition of being financially free has changed over the years, especially for our generation. It's no longer having a huge house or a flashy car. Really, it's more about being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want. It's about having balance overall and not overworking yourself to the point where you get sick. It's about being able to put your health, your peace, and your happiness above all else. So I'm so thankful that at my age, I get to experience all these moments. Langit at lupa, impyerno. Ako yung impyerno. Siya langit. Oo, siya ang langit. Ba't may lupa? Sino yun? Si Dax. Si Tiger. We were staying at a place called Sunset Glamping, which meant that there wasn't really much of a sunrise to watch out for. But you have to admit, Views like these are still some of the absolute best to wake up to. Santay, madam. Breakfast. Breakfast. Kasi malayo na yun, ma'am. Nang uh, siguro dalawang kids. Hindi ko maayos ka. Sapato. Lego? Yeah. After having a quick bite to eat for breakfast, I waited for everyone to get ready since today we'll be going on our first official dive here in Sikihor. sure but this is the right place because there's no bank and there's no people that's where we're waiting and there's no one except the other guys that are here but there's no tour guide mismo. so we don't know what to do just waiting for a response from messenger no like after the dive we will leave leave the leave you can designate the oh, driver. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Change of plans, kami. 
Pinapalipat kami sa ibang destination to ano, para makapasok sa tubig kasi medyo maalon dito sa pwesto na to. And, ewan ko, parang ang dating ang gulo ng system nila, no? Parang hindi sila organized eh. Yeah. Pero we'll see. How long is the drive to the next destination? 45 daw. 45 minutes! Next batch. We found a doyan. Hindi ko alam eh. Hindi ko alam. Kasi bayad na. Ito na kami ni Luni. Kami naman Coffee shop. Hello, we're stranded again kasi pinagpapahinga yung break ng van kasi puro pa taas. Thank me Lord ka talaga. So I really had no idea what was about to happen after these few moments. All I knew was that I was tired, sweaty, sunburnt, and just about ready to shower all the pagod away. I was literally just taking some shots of my friends waiting on their clips from their last dive when Jel suggested that we take a couple of photos by the beach. Yeah. And so we did. Yes, landscape muna. Say hi to the fucking vlog. How was your experience in Siki Hor? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Ah! It's amazing. It's amazing. Yes. So yeah, 
I guess I'm officially engaged. And that evening, we treated all our friends out and had a celebratory dinner to cap off one of the best days of my life. So far. <laughs> the venue was perfectly cozy and chill, and we even had a mini photo shoot to commemorate our engagement. We're going to have an impromptu pre <laughs> Napa print up the glassy bakla. There's the groom! Oh my god! So this morning, we are here at Pitogo Cliff for our impromptu print up photo shoot. It was just a few minutes away from our resort, so it's a little bit of the Entrance here is at 30 pesos, and really for touristy areas like these, earlier is always better. So there wasn't really much of a line for the famous cliff, but if you're interested to take some photos, that'll cost you around 50 pesos per head. And don't worry, ang gagaling na makuwi na kumukuha ng shots. Para talaga siyang human drone. And of course, a special shout out has to go out to my impromptu prod crew, our Seganda and Joiner Juan. Thank you so much for all the amazing shots. Love you guys. impromptu photo shoot sa Pitogo Cliff and now we're having an early lunch dito I forgot the name but somewhere near naman from Pitogo Cliff and we're just gonna have some lunch and some mango shakes kasi ang inan. and we deserve it okay
change clothes because we're going to the falls. Hi. Meet pa din. Okay, now we're going to the falls. Uy, kanina yan? Mi! Salamat po. Pasensya na. Sobrang mahal talaga. Sabi ko ng Cholo, no. Huwag ka man libre. Pinicture ni Boss Cholo. Kala na ba? Surprise ka na lang. Surprise ka na lang. Hindi, nakabog po tayo sa Coco Grove. Yeah! Nakabili na ang ating girl. The entirety of Kambugay Falls is made up of two levels. So think of it as a flight of two steps. Level 1 is what you'll likely see first upon entering. This area is more ideal for jumps. To get to level 2, you'll have to get through level 1 and cross some slippery streams. This area naman is more chill and where you can pay for someone to watch after your things. So before heading back, we got sidetracked because we found this beautiful spot between these two rice fields by the side of the road. Plus, it was golden hour, so we took this opportunity for a mini photo shoot with our minivan by the side of the road. Now this wasn't part of our schedule, but it was unexpectedly one of the highlights of our day. Oh. <laughs> 
Bag na lang pala. Ay, nagawa ako mag-blower ng bag. We're going to get some Jollibee for breakfast. That is it guys, our Siki Hoard trip has unfortunately ended, but if you want to watch my Bohol vlog, stay tuned for next week. Bye!